Y'all, I have been on a video recording roll today. One, we sat down and chatted about where I've been for the last couple of months and my poor sick lungs and throat. We're getting better. Uh, two, we did a really awesome thrift haul. Oh my gosh, to just see my new typewriter. And three, we're gonna do a grocery store haul. I'm gonna show you all the things I picked up at Aldi today. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am gluten free and also on Weight Watchers. So you'll hear me talking about some of that during this haul. I'm gonna load everything first and lay it all out, and then we're gonna take a little tour of my groceries. Let's start with butter first because butter, am I right? And Kerrygold butter is so good. We use this for like basic butter stuff, but one of my favorite things to do with it is to get out our little uh, popcorn popper. It's a little air popper and we make popcorn for the family and we melt Kerrygold butter over the top and add some pink, Him pink Himalayan sea salt. It's so good on popcorn. This week I'm gonna do a big breakfast bake. Basically all I do is pour a bunch of eggs, some almond milk, some cheese, cook up this pork sausage and add whatever veggies we have on hand and put it all in a casserole and bake it. It's so good. Um, I love this Never Any brand. In fact, they make my most favorite bacon. Y'all, this bacon is so stinking good. It tastes delicious. Uh, it's not cheap though. It's about five bucks for this package of bacon, but I think it's worth it. If you are a Weight Watcher friend, this Never Any sausage is one point per serving, so one link is at one point. So you could do a bunch of eggs, sauteed up with some spinach, and then add a little sausage link, and then you've got a one point breakfast. Uh, my boys are big, huge Scooby-Doo fans, so I, of course, had to grab these fruit snacks for them. They're going to be so excited about that. And... Bars are quite spendy in the Weight Watcher world, but I got a couple just to have on hand in case I'm having a pretty bad sweet tooth, and this will do the trick. These are really good. I love the honey oak coconut one, just lightly sweet. And then they had this new lemon bar flavor, so I'll give those a go. This same brand also makes this really good um, chocolate peppermint one that I love. My boys are huge fans of this sweet and salty nut bar, so for breakfast, we're, because we're in a hurry in the mornings a lot. We'll do breakfast in the car on the way to school. So I'll take one bar, divide it amongst both of them, and then give them a bunch of fruit in a bag and call it a day. Um, they also have these really good yogurt squeezes, so the boys love that. And from this same Never Any line, I got some of their oven roasted turkey, which we really, really like. And look at all the stuff that it's free from. And it's also gluten-free, which is important for me. Sometimes gluten hides and lunch meat. You would be surprised. I got these for my boys to try this week. Aldi has a ton of frozen breakfast options for on the go kind of stuff. They have healthier ones. They have gluten free options. And then I figured my kids would like this. I saw this and it was only like two something. So I thought we would give it a go. I have an espresso machine that I'm obsessed with and use daily, but we are soon going to be going on a road trip. And I think usually I take my espresso machine with me, but I think this year I'm not going to. So I'm gonna try this in my French press and see if I like it and maybe take it with us on the road if it turns out good. Carrots for snacking, hummus and all that kind of stuff. And then I got this to make some pudding pops for my boys. And then just some orange jello because it's fun. Asparagus, romaine, which is great for salads. But did you know that you can also chop romaine and cook it? It's so good. Just take it in a pan, put some olive oil, some fresh chopped garlic, and cook it until it's a little bit wilted. It's delicious. It's really quick and easy way to get some greens in with your uh, meal. And we got some tomatoes. My boys love tomatoes. This was a little treat. I cannot eat this because I can't eat gluten, but my boys and my husband will freak over these jelly-filled donuts. I am jealous, yes. I feel like Aldi always has really fun pastry stuff and they switch it out pretty regularly. I always keep a gluten-free pizza on hand for myself. They have a cheese option as well, but I love the pepperoni. It's really, really good to the point where if my family's going out to get pizza, I'm totally fine with them having the good stuff and me making this for myself at home. This was a new pickup, <coughs> excuse me, for this trip. I had not seen this one before, but it sounds pretty good. So I got this just to put over um, some warmed apples I thought might be good with some cinnamon as a little dessert and top it with a tiny bit of yogurt. Yogurt is so good, but y'all, on Weight Watchers, it's very spendy in the point department. 
Aldi has this line right here, which is called, well, it's the same line as this. It's the same thing, whatever. Live gluten-free. But I really actually like this gluten-free bread, and I like that it's a small loaf, because I don't really do a lot of bread, but every now and then I like a good piece of toast, and this way it's not going to waste, and it freezes up really nice, too. So I'll usually put this in the freezer and just grab a piece whenever the, the mood hits. Um, and it's good just like this, like if you just want to do a sandwich with it, but my favorite way to eat it is toasted with Kettigold butter. All right, so these are for Weston. He loves these things. I was so excited when we found these before because I thought they were going to be delicious. Blech, I do not like them. If you like sweet pickles, you will love the junk out of these. They're not, I thought they were going to be herby and good, but no, they're sweet. So they don't always carry them and he's been asking for them. So I went ahead and got two jars for him this time. This was another just random buy, but like I said, we're going to be going on the road this summer and stuff like this is really good for camping or if you're traveling because you can just take this one spice thing and you don't have to take a bunch of other stuff and you're good to go. Um, so I picked that up so that we could just give that a try. My boys love these things. Like they're always on stock in our fridge. It makes for a quick dessert or snack. They love them. Um, I thought I would try these. I looked these up on Weight Watchers. One container is two points, and I liked that they're already pre-measured, which I thought would make it easy, because measuring your own hummus is hard. Not, it's not, but I'm gonna give it a go. And then I saw this one, and I thought, what, ranch hummus? Okay, I'll try it. It was on sale, and again, this is two points per serving. I sing the praises of all these salsa all the time in my instant stories. If you're not watching Instagram, I'll leave all the link below. I'm on there all the time. Um, I love this stuff, y'all. It is so good. I like the chunky one, and I really love the Southwest one as well. The Southwest one has pieces of corn and black beans in it, and this one has a little bit more of a kick to it. I think it has a little tiny bit of jalapeno in it, maybe. It's not super spicy, but it's got a little bit of a kick. And then I grabbed these to kind of have as a snack with some carrots or some gluten-free crackers. Um, one wedge is one point and we love these eggs guys they're so good if you're not going to Aldi and getting these eggs I can't recommend them enough we used to do farm fresh eggs from a local farmer and I got tired of our eggs always being fertilized we would lose so many eggs because we'd crack them over our eggs and they would be all bloody and stuff sorry kind of gross so we stopped doing it and I haven't really missed them since trying these they're really really good uh, just celery, that's not that exciting. Cucumbers, carrots, strawberries, they smell so good. It's almost berry season. And they had ginger, and it was priced really well. So I like to use ginger in our soups, um, in smoothies. We use ginger for a lot of stuff. And then I picked up some apple butter. I was thinking um, it would be really good to have a banana, which is free with Weight Watchers with some chopped up walnuts warmed in the oven and then warm some apple butter and kind of drizzle it over the top so I'm not having to use as much. That just sounds like a yummy dessert. And then I found this for my son. Why isn't it focusing? It says um, it's honey butter and he loves, he loves a piece of toast in the morning so I thought this would be really good for him. Let's go over to the chip section, shall we? Dun, 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 dun. So many things. Obviously, this is trying to be Boom Chicka Pop. It, I actually thought it was Boom Chicka Pop until I saw this. This is not too friendly on the point department. So the kettle corn one is five points per serving. And you can get about two cups, which two cups is a lot. But what I thought I would do is to mix the sea salt, which is a lot more prep, uh, point friendly, and then just add in a little bit of this so that I can keep the points down. I got this for my son and my husband. They're actually really good, but I cannot eat them because they're not Weight Watcher friendly. And then these are good as well. My boys love chips, but these are my friends right here. Again, along with the guacamole, I talk about these chips all the time. I like that they have a, whoa, they have a yellow corn option as well, but I like the white corn ones the best. And um, they're, they're not too bad. So it's about four points for a serving and you get 11 chips per serving. So you can take 11 chips and what I like to do is break them to really small pieces so you feel like you're getting more. So that's four points and then you get a big scoop of this which is two points for two tablespoons. And that's a nice little snack. Put some carrots on your plate and call it a day. So there we have it, our little Aldi haul. This was just kind of like 
a little snacky kind of filler grocery trip. We already have a bunch of produce in the fridge and meat and all of that kind of stuff, so we just needed a few little things to tie us over. If you enjoyed the haul, be sure to let me know in the comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!